This one's called, I am not a sweet girl. The neighbors were all wearing long dresses when they picked me up to spend the day at the river. While they were singing harmonies, I hung my head out the window and growled like a dog. I will never play the harp. I often answer questions with a biting tone. I've been known to hold my own hand when feeling lonesome. Once I sank my teeth into my phone and cracked the screen. At home, I unload the bales of straw and roll them one by one up the hill into the garden. I shovel the horse shit and gladly chop the wood. But I coo to the cat and cradle my godson between my knees. I can braid my long hair and wrap it around my crown like a queen. Yet Spitfire is easiest for me. And when it comes time to get quiet or loud, when the men on the opposite shore start hollering at us while we swim, I am the one to rise from the water, protective and snarling. Just in case you ever need any backup, <laughs> you know, who'd call. <laughs> um, the story of my death. It begins on the edge of a gravel road somewhere in green gray mountains. We walk there after I taste the wild strawberries, red tiny thimbles spreading sweet and small in your yard. You hold my arm as we move into the forest, clouds of dust form with each step we take. A few sluggish afternoon flies hover and hum. My right hand holds up my denim skirt and my ankles appear the same as when I was 45, smooth olive skin. In the clearing with the flat stone bed, I turn my eyes to yours. And if you are my lover, we both cry some and smile without showing our teeth. And if you are my child, you cry, and I give you the comfort of my calm expression. And if you are my friend, we laugh and squeeze one another's shoulders with both hands. And then you leave. I don't watch you go. I rest on the rock, face toward the sky, and slip inward. My chest rises and falls rhythmically. My thoughts slow and sink with breath. My eyes close. I envision every moment, the experience of each human, each creature, each landscape. My body remains warm as I slightly sleep. As soon as I reach the very first memory, beyond the recollection of any dinosaur, any volcano or glacier, the wolves come. Perhaps they bring their pups or even a bear and they said to me as they always knew they would, with direct grace and instinctive care, they cradle me back into the earth. Thank you.